All right. Two days in a row, two losses in a row. And I got school today. I got taken to school. I got taken behind the woodshed and beat the shit out of. And hopefully, uh, the pain of today and yesterday will reside with me all weekend. Let's look back at um, a day that I had no business even thinking short at a certain point. And it all starts back at 5 a.m. And most patterns that you see that I lose on, the market is making higher lows. You can look back and you can see that the market has made a low. I'm good. What I know I'm good at is when the market is, you know, doing this, making lower lows or lower highs, however you want to look at that. Where I struggle as a short trader is when the market is making higher highs or higher lows. And this is a market that was making higher lows coming into the trading session. Then we see this bar. This is comes in at 5 a.m., 5, 5 uh, 19, and then you see this movement right here. Here's the key to trading right there. This is the key to the day. This is the key to the Mercedes or whatever car you want to drive. This is it. Do as I say, not as I do. All right. So coming into the session, I saw this when I opened up my my uh, my trading platform and I marked it. Or this actually this line comes back from uh, another day on Wednesday's inventory. So I mean, it's a significant point. And I actually had another line on the chart that somehow or another I must have deleted, but it was right here. And then you see the low right through here. Now, what we're going to watch, we move over to left edge, or right edge, is this bar, if, if it doesn't prove that it wants to go down, it becomes a failure bar at some, at some point. And these are where I, I pretty much lose most of, of my days. At my days, if you look back and watch my short side trading, the days that kick my ass the most are days that just never really look back after it makes its mind that it wants to go up. And I, being the wise trader that I am, don't recognize this is an up move making higher highs coming off of higher lows. So the trading day starts off here and this is what we see. We don't see the, the 5340 was the high of session and we see a similar thing that happened on last Friday went down and then it continued to move down for a while. This one starts off and then it comes back. Is there a certain point in the day where you can say, all right, maybe it's not working out? Well, I already had the lines on the charts. Let's go back and put that other line on too, by the way. Had it right here. So this is how I had it set up coming in. And if you know anything about what I, I think, long above, short below. So short underneath here, and it's stronger to the long side above this. And this is kind of like 
the no demand zone. You don't know. It's a question, question, questionable area. So we open up. Do we ever get below the sell below line? Not really. In fact, no. You could argue that we're below here. And the only time in the day to be short would have been this move that takes you out through there. And then getting long above here somewhere. And even if you waited for here, that bar back there becomes failure. I've seen this more than once in my, my, my trading career. Because since I am such a great short side trader, I got confidence that I can catch the high. Even though past is telling me otherwise. And I even saw some good short side setups, a five. But after it busted the five, I had no business. What's the five? I'll show you. After it busted this five set up here, one, two, three, four, five. After it busted through there, I had no business being short below that. I mean, above that level. In fact, was there a valid one, two, three setup on that move going up when I'm trying to pick off the top. Now notice that I'm trying to pick off a top between R1 and R2. As I say, do as I say, not as I do. Back here is the key to the trading day though. That high volume spike bar and they showed you where there was interest in the market. And you saw where interest was on Wednesday as well. You talk about getting your ass kicked. I got my ass kicked. So last week I had $867 in gains. This week I gave up 780 of last week's gains. And then I had 500 and plus the other week prior. So I'm still okay. But these are the kind of stuff that I've got to be better at. Honest to goodness, I'm going to tell you, if you go back and you look at most of my biggest losing days, outside of the crap bullshit that I do occasionally, most of my biggest losing days have this in common. I'm trying to short a long side trading day. And what do they normally look like? They're making higher lows coming into the session. I'm pretty good when the market looks like this coming into the session. But I'm not so good when we got this kind of movement like that. And today there's actually was a line in the sand that the market said hey and it ends up being what we would think stop running at that point and they go back here to test it again and they notice that there's nobody shorting it they said okay cool let's drive it at some point I'm okay with trying to short but at some point I gotta say, no, stop. Stop the insanity. And stop doing it. So anyway, I do this for my own benefit to put it up there. And you know, there's always an opportunity later in the session, maybe to catch something. If you're waiting. Or at least maybe get out at break even. I would prefer not to even trade these days short though. 
I would like to think that I start getting smart enough to take the easy money. And the easy money today was to be long and maybe coming out of all your longs roughly when it crosses over the 200 bar for the first time on that up move. It was insanely going. Look, when did it ever cross over the 200 bar once it crossed the start with? just about touched here but here's where it breaks down and it also coincides with when the shorts start trying to take over a little bit more they all look similar most of my biggest losing days look similar all right I'm putting this up on YouTube so you guys can uh, maybe learn something from my mistakes. Talk to you later.